Guys, we have Legends coming out tomorrow. Legends are hands down my favorite coin making method early on in Madden. And I expect this year to be the same as any other year. The prices of Legend cars does the exact opposite of what you would expect it to do. We're going to go ahead and dive in and show you how to make a ton of coins every single week with Legends moving forward. All right, guys, tomorrow we have eight Legends coming out, starting off with DeMarcus Ware. We got Brandon Marshall. Brandon Marshall looks incredible. I can't wait for this card. Bruce Matthews center, you know, whatever, not uh, the most sought after card, but still going to be really, really good. Still going to be really, really expensive. The Danian Tomlinson, always a fan favorite. I know my guy, the director is going to absolutely love this card. I'm sure he's already freaking out about it. Probably got five videos up about it. Ed Reed looks like an absolute goon this year, as always. Revis Island comes in with some really good stats. I think he'll be a pretty good corner. We heard RG say this morning that you kind of need one step ahead and Acrobat. Acrobat's going to give us different animations for interceptions. Some we've never seen before, supposedly. Definitely not to throw that on there and use this card. And then that dude, Dev, I mean, uh, Michael Strahan, always good early on. And Mr. Johnny Unitas makes his return to Madden. Okay, so everybody always asks me, how do you make coins off of Legends? And it's simple. Every year, typically, we have a set, right? You take a bunch of small Legend pieces, and you throw them into a set, and you get a better version of that Legend. You know, one of the higher ones that go into the sets. Some of those set pieces in the past would go for 300,000 coins. Here's a look at Madden 21, the legend set for Michael Strahan. Strahan came into the game as a 96 last year. This year he's coming in only as an 89, so the set's obviously going to be a little bit different. But for last year, for his 96, you needed his 94, 92, a couple of his 90s, and a bunch of his 89 cards. That 94 card, when it came out, was incredibly expensive and hard to get. The best way to get it was to do exchange sets. This set right here, it wasn't available right away at the beginning of the year. So you might have to wait a couple weeks, maybe two, three weeks until it comes out. You do this set, you throw these in here, some of the low tier, like the 89 overall pieces. Well, this year, I'm going to bet probably 81, 82s to start off the year. Throw these in, and then you're going to hope that you pull. Maybe it's an 87 piece that's going to go in to build Strahan or any of these other guys tomorrow. But these low legend pieces, as the weeks go on, their prices do the exact opposite of what you would think. So everybody assumes that on Saturday when legend come out, people are going to buy legend bundles. True. Uh, they're going to pull a bunch of low overall legend pieces. Also true. And that's going to drive the price down. Wrong. The demand for these cards to go ahead and throw into those sets and try your hand at getting a better version of the card outweighs the supply that's coming in from opening up packs. So a card that you would think would have a surplus in the market actually dwindles down and the price actually goes up instead. Last year, there were some weeks we would buy legend pieces on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, especially when elites would come out for like 10, 12,000 coins. And then on Saturday, sell them for up to 25,000. You could literally double your coins by buying cards on the right day of the week and selling a few days later. We don't know when this set is gonna come out. It might be out tomorrow. It might not come out for two, three weeks, but it does come out. We're gonna be ready to go ahead and snatch up all of these low legend pieces and throw them into the sets uh, if you want to, or sell them for double the coins, whatever risk you want to take. I usually go about half, right? I'll buy up enough, and then I'll go ahead and sell back all the pieces to go ahead and make back my investment. And then whatever I have left over, I'll go ahead and throw into the sets, because then at that point, it's all profit, whatever. We'll know more. Once the set comes out, we'll have even more info on it. We'll walk you through how to do it. It's real, real simple. I said in the past, we've gone up and made about a million coins a week doing this method. I know that sounds crazy, but trust me, it's happened. Guys, I know this is a really, really short video. I just want to get this out to remind people that Legends are going to be one of your best pieces to come out. If the exchange set is not there, we're probably just going to be on in the morning sniping these cards like crazy. Everyone's going to open up bundles. There's tons of really good cards. I expect the auction house as a whole to go down a little bit tomorrow. And then finally on Monday, go back up. We've seen some stuff already go up. Uh, it is on the rise a little bit, so our trend of what we were tracking and expecting to happen is happening. Uh, if everything follows through, we should have a dip tomorrow, and then it should take off on Sunday and Monday. We're going to have videos like this all year long to help you make coins as easy as possible. That's the whole goal. And remember, if you're taking coin advice from somebody, make sure that they have more coins than you do.